Jaguar vs Giant Otter. Who would win a fight? First of all, I want to ask you to click the subscribe button. Thank you very much. The Brazilian Pantanal, one of the largest floodplains in the world, has the highest population densities of jaguars in the species' entire range. Observing jaguars hunting or interacting with other jaguars or other species can be difficult. Some of the most surprising encounters are between jaguars and giant otters. Giant otters are carnivorous, formidable, and extremely agile aquatic predators. To the extent that they are called the aquatic jaguar by some local indigenous tribes, and are always in social groups taking care of their territory and one another. Size and Description The male jaguar, which is generally larger than the female, attains a length of 3.8 to 6 feet, 1.1 to 1.8 meters with a shoulder height of 2.3 to 2.6 feet, 0.7 to 0.8 meters. It weighs from 70 to 249 pounds, 31 to 121 kilograms. Jaguars are powerfully built with large square jaws and prominent cheeks. Jaguars have lean bodies and muscular limbs. They are built for power, not speed, although they can run briefly. Base coat colors range from pale yellow to reddish brown, with black, rosette-shaped spots on the neck, body, and limbs. The belly is off-white. Male giant otters can attain a length of 4.9 to 5.6 feet, 1.5 to 1.7 meters. An average giant otter will weigh between 49 to 71 pounds, 22 and 32 kilograms. Giant otter fur is the shortest of all the otter species. This fur is densely packed so that no water can penetrate through to the skin. They have an inner coat which is surrounded by guard hairs that keep the water off their actual coat. The fur is colored brown in most specimens, though it can be fawn or red in some. On the throat is an assortment of white patterns. They have small, rounded ears, which can close underwater. The legs are stubby and short. At the end, the feet are webbed and also have sharp claws. Range and Habitat Today, the jaguar is found in South and Central America, from Mexico to Northern Argentina. The species range formerly spread over the U.S. border into the southern states of America, but had become wiped out there by the 1940s due to hunting. There have been sporadic sightings in Arizona in recent years, however. While jaguars do live in drier regions, they're normally strongly associated with water, and they thrive in rainforests like the Amazon and in dense swamplands and wetlands that provide plenty of cover for stalking prey. The Pantanal in Brazil is one of the best places in the world to see jaguars. The best time to visit is the dry season from late April to early November, as that's when prey is more concentrated. Giant Otter is a native of South America, except for Chile, east of the Andes. Currently, there are almost none in Argentina and Uruguay, and they are very rare in Paraguay. They are seen within the Amazon, Orinoco and La Plata river systems and are found in slow-moving streams and rivers, lakes, swamps and marshes, as well as flooded forests during the rainy season. Giant otters prefer habitats with non-floodable banks that have vegetation cover and where there is easy access to hunting places in relatively shallow waters. Diet Jaguars are carnivores, which means they eat only meat. In the wild, jaguars will use their speed and stealth to take down deer, peccary, monkeys, birds, frogs, fish, alligators, and small rodents. If wild food is scarce, these large cats will also hunt domestic livestock. Their jaws are stronger than any other species of cat. With these strong jaws, 
Jaguars will crunch down on bones and eat them. Their jaws are strong enough to crack a sea turtle's shell. In fact, in the zoo, bones are part of a jaguar's regular diet. They also don't like to share their food. Jaguars will only eat their prey after dragging into the trees, even if the trees are quite a distance away. Giant otters are carnivorous and eat mainly fish, including the flesh-eating species beloved of Hollywood jungle movies, the piranha. However, their diet also includes birds, small mammals, invertebrates, crustaceans, and even snakes. These otters are well adapted for life in aquatic habitats, with their paddle-like tails, webbed claws, water-repellent fur, and the ability to close their nostrils and ears when swimming. The family group hunts together, but each individual catches its own prey. Once they have hunted successfully, giant otters bring their prey to a picnic area to eat straight away. Behavior The jaguar is a solitary creature, aside from during the first couple of years spent with their mother. Jaguar males are very territorial, with their home range overlapping that of several females, but being prepared to defend it fiercely from other males. They are dependent on water, particularly during the dry season, seeking relief from the heat. They are very good swimmers and are very fast when moving through the water, especially when pursuing their prey. Near dusk and dawn, jaguars are most active, tending to rest during the mid-morning and afternoon. When resting, they lie under thick vegetation in deep shade or under large rocks or in caves. The giant otters are gregarious and live in groups of three to ten individuals, known as holts. These large otters are extremely social animals. Each of these holts lives within their own territory. The territories would never coincide or overlap with territories that belong to the other groups. The members of a holt would play, travel, rest, sleep, and fish together. Both the females and the males would scent mark their territories, since all members of the otter family have strong scent glands. These otters are diurnal, which means they are active during daytime. While marking their territory, they usually clean up the areas by clearing the shrubs and plants along the riverbanks and lakesides, where they would sit resting, basking, and grooming themselves. Now let's find out who would win a fight between a jaguar and a giant otter? Jaguars are the apex predators in their area, but there are also other apex predators in the same area. The giant river otters are also apex predators in the rivers where they spend most of their lives. Some natives even call them water jaguars, while first Europeans called them river wolves. The jaguar is an even more powerful predator, built for combat like its other feline relatives. It is an intelligent cat and sneaky ambush predator. Therefore, when they meet, what happens? Even the jaguar, a versatile feline that climbs trees, moves imperceptibly through forests and does not see the water as a barrier, thinks twice before entering a river when otters are nearby. Drinking water near them can become an arduous, worrying, and challenging task. In a one-on-one -on -one fight, the jaguar will always win, especially on land. They are master ambushers and can jump from the top river's bed into the water to catch their prey, which may include a lonely giant river otter. They may also prey on them when it can catch by surprise one individual on land. But, although an average jaguar is about four times the weight of a single adult giant otter, these animals live in groups. Eight individuals mean twice the jaguar's weight, but eight times the number of jaws and paws, and they are fierce enemies. It is also well documented that groups of giant river otters can scare off not only a single jaguar, but even two jaguars hunting together. In the water, the otter wins comfortably. It's too agile and too many of them for the jaguar. 
almost like being in a puddle of piranhas. Don't forget, the giant otter is capable of taking down caimans and anacondas. They are one of the most powerful predators of the Amazon. A jaguar, too, is also a very capable swimmer, but it's not as adapted to aquatic environment as the otters, so it will get killed in water. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button.